All right, everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So when people start off mining, uh, myself included, one of the first things that they try to do when they're processing their ore to extract the gold from it is to try to dissolve the gold out of the rock using acid, or rather a mixture of acids known as aqua regia. I mean, it makes sense uh, when you first uh, start out looking up ways to dissolve gold. That's uh, the process that shows up. And there's loads of tutorials on how to dissolve gold from rock. It is certainly possible, you can do it, but it is very difficult and I almost always see it fail. And if you're working with ore that doesn't have very much gold in it, which is almost all ores, uh, you're just not going to get enough out to justify the use of the acid. One of the reasons for this is that the acids are expensive, especially if you're just starting out and you have to buy them from a chemical supply. But today I want to show you guys uh, one thing that I ran into uh, several times, and that is the fact that a lot of gold ores contain manganese. Uh, this uh, rock right here contains a few parts per million gold, so it's actually a you know, relatively decent ore, but it contains uh, these uh, black uh, structures in here, which are manganese dendrites. Now, of course, this is an extreme example. Most ores are not gonna have this amount of manganese in them, but uh, this is just a, kind of a demonstration to show what can happen. So let's uh, go through a little scenario with you. So we've got some uh, ore, uh, which we've either determined has gold through a fire assay, or perhaps uh, we're just wanting to test if it does have gold. So the first thing we're gonna do is take it and crush it up. Okay, so now that we've crushed our ore into a uh, grayish powder, let's uh, transfer it over into a beaker. And now, uh, when you drop in a bit of acid, you can observe that it bubbles profusely. It's destroying our acid. Uh, and the reason for that is the high level of calcium carbonate contained within this rock. So you don't want to put your expensive nitric acid in there, it'll just destroy it. Also having all the calcium and iron dissolved into the solution makes it more difficult to recover the gold later. So what do you do? You take your uh, cheaper muriatic acid, or hydrochloric acid, and you dump a bunch of this in to dissolve away the calcium and any iron and other things that might be there. And uh, hydrochloric acid on its own, without nitric, will not dissolve gold. So our gold should be left in the rock. But now, if I put in some uh, gold leaf to fanerize the gold, give this a bit of a stir here. And let's just uh, watch these gold flakes over a period of a few minutes. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, the uh, gold leaf has dissolved. And presumably, if you had any uh, small, micro-fine gold in there, it would have also dissolved. And of course, you can't see that gold, so you don't know. Since you've only added hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid does not dissolve gold, it would make sense to uh, dispose of this liquid. Of course, uh, you'd probably be better at decanting than this. And then you'd add more hydrochloric acid and nitric acid to uh, dissolve gold. Unfortunately, you would never recover any because you just poured off your gold into your waste. The reason that the gold dissolved is that the manganese dioxide in the pyrolusite here is a strong oxidizer in itself. And so it actually acts as a replacement for the nitric acid. The manganese actually causes the chloride ions to be converted into elemental chlorine, which, uh, when combined with hydrochloric acid, dissolves gold. Now there are many ways to combat this. Uh, one way I found is to uh, roast the ore at high temperature, uh, maybe 500 degrees centigrade, uh, for a few hours. Uh, that uh, will break down the manganese dioxide into other oxides which are not quite as oxidative. But mainly what I'm getting at is that the acid leaching process, you know, using aquaregia on a rock, is just not a good idea especially if you're not very experienced. I mean, I've just shown you one or two things that can go wrong, but there are hundreds more. And don't even get me started on testing with stannous chloride after leaching from a rock. So, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time.